الله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المقتد ومن يدري فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أيتها الأخوات أيها الأخوة أحييكم بتحية الإسلام تحية من عند الله مباركة طيبة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Thank you so much for this invitation. It's a pleasure for me to come here for many reasons, in fact. Uh, and I want to start by thanking uh, Ikna for this invitation here. Uh, on my way, on my last visit, this visit in the States, have been able to. Uh, meet also with uh, Father uh, Mondar Abu Ayman uh, uh, in two other places, in New Jersey and, and uh, in New York before coming here. And uh, it has been a pleasure uh, to attend, but also to support the work that was presented here uh, this evening. Having said that, it seems that for the coming future, and maybe beyond that, they will have a special relationship with Dallas. And uh, as I'm coming here with my family, my uh, uh, wife Iman and my two daughters, Maryam and, and Najma, and my son Musa, and there is another one, Sami, who is now just preparing for his last exam tomorrow morning, that time, so in a few hours. So uh, your dua for him as he's not with us uh, here. And I also want to, to thank Sister uh, Sami and her family. Uh, starting with uh, our uh, brother Omar, who is not here in Chicago, and then Muhammad, who is not there, Usama, who is here, Shayma, who is not there, and Radwa, because uh, it seems that for it is the case, inshallah, alhamdulillah, uh, our families now are connected, and then I will come back, inshallah, in this city. It's part of us here will be here in the city of Alhamdulillah without going to too much details. But I wanted to say that because it's important. When it comes to speak about Islam, not to forget the essence of our religion, because we are talking about uh, believing uh, in Allah, serving Allah by serving the people. And the first dimension of everything that we are doing is our families. So there is no point to go around the world to speak about Islam if we don't care, if we are not serious about uh, protecting our family, our wife, our husband, our children. This is the starting point of our religion. And it might be that uh, for the future, we should all be very careful not to be colonized by something which is coming from this consumerist society, a way of life that is not putting families in the center, only with words, but not in reality. It should be us, with our understanding of Islam, our principles, colonizing positively the United States of America by making it a centrality in our life, our family, our kids, our children, and uh, the essence of our religion. Um, I heard that Ikna started this work in '68, and uh, uh, that's, of course, a long time ago. I have been following and supporting not uh, from here but uh, uh, from Europe many of the, the activities of this organization and, and so many others and I think that what we have heard this evening is important. They asked me to speak about a, a very sensitive topic for us as Muslims uh, uh, today which is this relationship between our faith and us being citizens and American citizens for you in this country. Uh, but let me tell you something. On the long run, I'm quite optimistic. I think, inshallah, our future in the West is going to be a bright future. It's going to be uh, positive. We are, we are, by the way, we are not here by accident. We are not here by accident. Not only we are learning from our historical experience as Western Muslims now as American Muslims. We are learning a lot. We are learning 
how we have to come back to our religion and to understand that there are things coming from our cultures of origin that are not really Islamic, and things that are Islamic that we have to reassess. Not the fundamentals. The fundamentals are not going to change. But the way we have to understand our religion, the way we have to deal with the priority, the way we have to deal with spirituality, with love, it might be that we came here out of a divine plan for us to reassess the essential teachings of our religion. So we are learning. Anyone who is here who has been a father, a mother over the last two generations, know that we are learning how to be a Muslim. It's difficult, it's a challenge, it's a jihad, but we are understanding our religion in a better way. Well, alhamdulillah, the new generations are even sometimes, because of the challenges that they are facing, more educated as to what are the priorities and in which way they have to deal with the religion. So we have to be optimistic on that, understand that we are learning. But it's not only this. On the long run, we also have to think about our contribution. We should be a gift to the United States of America. We should be a gift to the West. We don't want the West to be distracted. What we want is the West to be reformed in the name of values that we are sharing with our fellow citizens, not only to Islamists. We are not here to convert the people. We are here to be the witnesses to our message before people. As to the conversion of the people is not of our business. You are not, and you have no right on any heart on the planet. It's not of your business. You have to spread the message. Now, what is happening in every single heart is not of your business. The one who is having in his power, in his mercy, in his presence, the heart of every single human being is the one. Allah, la ilaha illa. It's not us. And even the Prophet is asking him to, uh, as for ourselves, we don't know even if tomorrow we are going to be believers. We are asking Allah to help us to stay, to remain Muslims tomorrow and to follow the path. Because we don't know what would happen with ourselves. So we have to be very, very humble and not to count as the, the Sheikh. And I want to, to thank the Sheikh Abdel Nasser for uh, he knows why. I'm not going to, to add to this, but I want to thank him from the bottom of my heart. But the point here is to get it right that uh, our uh, role here as Muslims in the West and you here in the United States of America is really to get it right. Uh, uh, the, the, the point for, a, for us is that you have to bear witness to the message before people. How are we going to do this? Let me start with something that happened last week in Norway. And I want you to get it right because I will tell you something. For years until last year, my sense was what is happening in Europe is not going to happen in the States. And what we are facing in Europe today, and you should understand that when you have challenges, these challenges are sending you back messages as to what are the priorities in the way you deal with your religion. It's not enough to say we know that spirituality is the same. Of course we know that our that this is what we need to be. We have to be connected. We need this. We know that this is central. Now, the way we, have go we are going to understand that, the way we are going to get the message, the way we are going to implement this, is also for us to understand the context. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ was very powerful in the way. He got the message, but he knew the people. He was dealing with his culture. He was dealing with people in Mecca, and he tried to understand the very culture of people in Medina. So he knew the people. And Later, we had the great scholars in the Khalil in Jamziya, for example, when he gave, uh, he gave the list of every conditions that you need to have to be a, a mujtahid, a mufti, someone who is delivering fatawa, you need to know the situation of the people. 